Hello there guys, this is Stranger Hydro and I'm back for part 4 of my Metal Gear Solid 4 Let's Play Blind. Without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Um, so I'm kind of worried about this tank up here. I'm actually quite worried about that, so I'm, let's just kind of go in this building and see what happens. Um, I'm still just trying to mess with the controls. Um, I feel like, I feel like the controls are... I'm still getting used to. It seems like the Y button you can kind of peek around corners, but I don't feel like I have that mastered yet at all. Um, also, too, I'm really missing my MK22 for Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, I hope eventually we get some sort of handgun or something. The only options we have right now are this stun knife, which you have to get way too close. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy. Okay. Oh, he see me, he see me. That's why. That's why. Oh. Okay, so I did get this guy, but okay, snake. Run. Oh, oh, get out of there. Okay, good. And they see me. That didn't go well. And I'm going to be trying to take the stealth approach in this playthrough, but, you know, this is an uncut footage, so, you know, definitely it's whatever happens, happens, kind of. And like I said, I just wish I had kind of a tranquilizer pistol or something at this point. Um some handgun of some nature, hopefully non-lethal, because I'm going to try to be non-lethal in this playthrough, um, but, you know, here we go with the trusty cardboard box, our best friend in essence, and we just got to kind of ride this out, um, I'm not going to be able to, to let it go all the way back to where it's just like no alert, probably because that will take too much time, but I'm just trying to let the guards kind of just let them calm down for a bit. That's what I learned from Metal Gear Solid 3. Just give them, you know, 20, 30 seconds and they kind of they kind of calm down a little bit. So that's what my plan is here. Um, the box out in the open is probably going to cause suspicion. So the main thing is here, basically we, we have a sort of primitive radar on the top of our screen, but that's about it. So... At this point, it's just basically navigating through this war zone without... Oh, no. Okay, guys. Okay, we can do this. Let's take this guy out. Oh, I can't believe he see me there. I almost had him, too. I almost had him. Okay, okay. They see me. They see me. I'm, I think I'm just going to run past this part and hope it. Okay. Okay, that may not work out. That may not work out at all. Okay. Time to knock out some people. Peace Walker style. Oh. Okay, there we go. There we go. There's a Peace Walker takedown for you guys right there. Understood. Regroup and uh, like I said, even on the easiest difficulties, it's a lot about knowing the enemy patterns. And because this is a blind playthrough, I'm just doing the best I can. Um, I noticed Snake has kind of like a halo around him, detecting danger or something. So that's kind of interesting. And I think I'm a little safer now that I've gotten into this building, so I'm gonna just try to proceed towards my my waypoint of essence, I guess. I'm just trying to kind of following the arrow. Um, and it's cool. Okay, that guard's there. We gotta. I'm just picking up all this crap in here because you never know. Everything in Metal Gear Solid is useful. Um, you know, even from like stray magazines that you can throw to distract your opponent. So. Looks like things are cooling down a little bit outside, um, but I don't want to get too cocky here. I just want to kind of remain calm. So I think I, I chose a good decision by going over here into this kind of like, I don't know, enclosed area just simply because I can see opponents. And um, I'm really liking this active camouflage. It's a lot easier than swip switching between camouflages like in uh, Metal Gear 3. Um, but I always like the camouflage aspect of the game, so I like this optical camouflage where it's kind of like if you stay still, kind of like in Ghost Recon, you you turn semi-opaque um, or kind of the color of the surrounding area. So I'm just trying to see here what I have, and unfortunately it just doesn't seem like I have anything that I can use other than the stun knife that won't be lethal and won't cause just a... Um, 
a huge attraction to me. I definitely don't want to use the AK-102 um, because that will that will only attract attention. Enemy uh, wow. Who's seen me? I got that guy. Okay, that's not enemy. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. So, it's not exactly going perfectly in terms of stealth, but I'm excited. This is exciting. Great gameplay, great graphics. We just gotta take... I don't know what this guy's gonna do. Okay. Okay. I can see them outside there, though. Kind of circling around my position. Uh, okay. Okay. Maybe running for is just the best idea at this point. Yep. Okay, I got through that area. Not without being sighted a few times, but... Okay. Oh, wow! Another enemy scene. Oh, man. Okay, okay, I just gotta remain calm here. Take this guy out. Peace Walker style, baby. Just grab his head and toss him to the back. Damn it. No HQ. No HQ. Okay, we got this. We got this. Just peek out of this wall here. See what, what's going on. I just want to avoid this area entirely. I want to, I want to, you know, just avoid enemies. This is cool, but at least, oh, okay. Okay, I got this guy. I got this guy. I'm just glad too that you guys will finally be able to see a little gameplay because I know that the first couple um, sections were very um, cutscene heavy, but I've really been enjoying them, so it's been good. Here's some lockers, which I'm definitely going to check because, like Metal Gear 2, the, there could be anything in there from, like, uh, you know, scandalous pictures to, you know, rations. Anything you can think of. So, definitely worth it to go check out the lockers. And just rolling by and knock those two down, which was pretty cool. I also like the lockers because I feel like I could hide in here in case things go to crap. So, here we are. Okay. What? Can't believe this. Okay. 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 We're fine now. Okay. This. I think this rooftop is going to be kind of good if we can ever cross anywhere. I'm not sure if this will lead us anywhere, but if we can, um, this will be good just to avoid detection. You know. And right now I'm just again trying to check out what I have, but unfortunately it just it doesn't seem like I have anything. Um, that is super useful at the moment. And I'm sure I'll pick up weapons. You know, this is Metal Gear. You come in with nothing. You have, you know, you're a secret operative. And, you know, this is not where you bring in all your equipment. So, I'm just going to have to find things as I go along. HQ. This is HQ. All clear. Understood. The state of alert has been lifted. Resume positions. So things are going a little bit better now. I'm seeming to sneak past these set of guards, which I'm really happy about. And I'm getting somewhat closer to my objective, I believe. Um, I'm not sure exactly where it is, but I'm thinking that I'm going towards it. I'm picking up a lot of little items. I'm glad I could jump down there because I wasn't sure if that was going to work or if I would have to like go down another staircase or something, which there would probably be a guard. Okay, somebody heard me. Who was that? Somebody heard me. Hide, Snake, hide. Okay, he's right on this side of the door. Oh. I can take this guy out. Yes! Finally, a successful stealth takedown. Okay. Okay, so I can definitely hide in dumpsters, which is good, you know, in case, in case I have to later. Who knows, you know, guards may be chasing me. This may be a good option in the future. So that's good to know. It looks like we're getting into another cutscene or something, I'm not sure. Oh shit. That does not look good. Maybe a first boss fight? It's 
me, Snake. Oh, it's Otacon. Snake, it's me. Huh? Otacon. Sorry to keep you waiting, Snake. Allow me to introduce Metal Gear Mark II. Metal Gear? That's right. Just like Rex. <laughs> but this gear's not a weapon. It's a remote mobile terminal designed to provide you with operational support. Where are you? I'm in the Nomad. Where else? I'll be watching you through the Mark II. Wish I was good with gadgets. Hey, I'll be with you in spirit. Anyway, because you had to dress up as a militiaman, I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. Starting with this. Put it on your left eye. Looks like an eye patch. I call it the Solid Eye. It's an all-purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. You can also switch it over to light amplifying night vision. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. This is gonna be boss right here, I can just tell you right now. I'm already loving the solid eye. Out there. It looks like they've got the government's PMC troops beat, at least in numbers. And this is their own turf. Snake, I know this is a sneaking mission, but you'll need to protect yourself. Yes. I installed yes. a suppressor. Awesome. And here's finally a get a handgun. Gun. And a tranquilizer gun. Oh, Atacada, I love you. I love you so much, Atacada. Uh, thoughtful. You're the best. It predates the implementation of the system. By some miracle, it was never recycled. It's getting tough these days finding decent guns that aren't controlled. So obviously, in this point in history. Weapons must have some sort of government control or something like that where you can't shoot them without some sort of serial number or something like that or an implanted chip or something. You coming? Of course. I'll follow you wherever you go. Like this. I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention. If you need it, just bring up the start button menu. You got it. Snake, the informants who said they saw a liquid here should be a little further up. Head for the rendezvous point. I've placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye. It's a war zone out there. Stay on your toes. I'm just so happy for the tranquilizer gun. I think this is going to make things so much better and so much easier. So this video is getting a little bit long, so I'm just going to save here, and I will see you guys next time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. If you do, just send me comments, and if you can, like the video. Snake. I uh, appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys next time. Hydra out.